I'm Johannes Ekström, and uh, I am the vocalist of Avatar. How are you? Well, the, the thing, yeah, you, you start with practicing and rehearsing and then you go and have your costume made. I, uh, and I feel like many bands do that way around, probably, and we just... Everything comes from the music, you know, that, that that's the whole thing, that what we are doing is visualizing the music, so it has to be there for anything else to work. Thank you. I agree. The, the, well, the fable, the story bit that goes with it, I wrote. But it's, uh, it still always works like this for us, that everything in Avatar is made by Avatar more than anything. I couldn't have written the story if not the other guys were interested in doing an album out of it and, you know, and being behind the story and the idea. So it's always a collective work and that's, that's always the music is very much a collective effort. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mentioning any names. Uh, but uh, most bands have one topic that they just twist and turn the same words around forever and ever. Well, the the album being a concept album is a story about an owl who goes to war to stop the sun from rising. And along the way she meets uh, a, bun a whole bunch of other animals all representing different uh, uh, human frame of minds or opinions, ideals and ideas like in any other fable. But in our case we try to twist and turn a bit with archetypes that are in classic literature. Because in classic there's always a big bad wolf or a wise owl and uh, our wolf is pretty nice, and uh, the, in the case of the owl, she is uh, the whole point of the story is how she fails to really attain any form of uh, of wisdom. That there's so much that she could potentially have learned from her journey, but she dies none the wiser in the end, which is really, I don't know. In best, uh, it says uh, as always when you write, uh, you end up finding a thousand ways to write about yourself, I guess. Uh, because it's all from your own mind anyway. Uh, but I, I feel like it's somewhat relatable that it says something about human condition that we could be much smarter now than we are. Feathers and flesh. Thank you. I was the, yeah yeah the thing is I was the first one to do the band logo. It's a nice in my you know apartment in my sofa home room by a friend. Uh, then later uh, we had a, a pre-party uh, at his at that guy's apartment and uh, did like heroin addicts shared some needles and uh, don't do that and <laughs> and uh, yeah this is this is elfish. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, then I got I got half a tattoo on my arm with my girlfriend having the other half. And yeah, and sorry. 
yeah, it's kind of, uh, but it's always a balance there to me. Now this makes perfect sense, but I think it's always very important to have if you're gonna get. I, th I think I covered my bases pretty good. Like I got uh, of the three sh shitty things I got, well, two shitty, one nice. Actually, that one's nice too. I got one shitty, two nice, uh, but small. But the whole point is to have something, something kind of rock and roll my own band that makes sense and says something about dedication then the very very personal one but you know if you look at the tv shows that ev at every time they sit there and get ink they always have feel compelled to have a deep life story to why they i don't know tattoo a pile of shit with some flies around it and th then it just gets silly which brings us to that is it's it's i think i don't know it's a male fish language and it means the fellowship of the ring <laughs> actually my girlfriend did this one as you know first time she tried she did pretty good yeah, yeah, but in a drunken stupor, so you still, you know, you have to have at least one, you know, sailor statue that was done intoxicated. Yeah, yes. I, it comes to go to periods. The kind of thing is that, yes, like, I know all my, you know, like, girlfriend has a ton of them and my band has a ton of them, except for the drummer, he has nothing. It doesn't have the band logo, that's all I'm saying. I, I, just, I don't ask for more than that, but everybody else gets a band logo. Yeah, we actually, that, that is, uh, that or, you know, forehead, you know, legs legs and arms are taken and backs and stuff. So, yeah, you, you got to do forehead. No, but the, the thing the thing is always that those people are kind of into that pain. To me, that pain hurts. So, so that's, that's that's one thing. But that, that you get over. But then, you know, to take care of things. I mean, look at my hair. To lotion up a tattoo. So that's my problem, you know. That's... Yeah, well, yeah, no, when they start paying us more and they fly us by, you know, Apache helicopters to hotels in a neighboring town and stuff. I get shit tons of rich bitch tattoos. Yeah, I'll tattoo rich bitch in, 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 as a tram stamp. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, in America, <laughs> we're doing a ton of festivals there now in in May. It's called the loudest month of the year, and in between there, we are headlining all across like, all across half the country, pretty much, up from Illinois down to Florida and everything in between. Thank you very much. You heard her. Thank you.